Okay, so in this video we don't have a lamina, we instead have a light rod of length 21 metres. Forces act on the rod as shown, find the total moment of these forces about A and B. Okay, so what you can see here is that these forces are being applied at different points along the rod. Okay, so if I'm looking to find the moment about A, then what I'm looking to find is figuring out how far away I am from each of these forces, okay, and then uh, multiplying it by, so the perpendicular distance times the force, and then thinking about the sense of which direction it's going. So here we're three metres away from this force, the force is of value 8 newtons, and so three lots of 8 is what I need to do to get the moment, and it is going in an anti-clockwise direction, and so that would be positive. So we've got three lots of eight. Now, this force is 10 metres away, and is being pushed in a clockwise motion, so it's negative. So we've got take away 10 lots of the force 10. Now, 20 metres away is this other force, the third force, and that's being pushed around in a clockwise, as, uh, sorry, an anti-clockwise motion, and so it's positive. So we've got plus 20 lots of 13. So the moment about A is the total of those. So 3 lots of 8 take away 10 lots of 10 plus 20 lots of 13, and that gets us 184 newton metres. OK, that would be the end result. Now, as for B, moment about B, well, first of all, we've got this force, which is one metre away of 13 newtons. And that's pushing around in a clockwise direction, so it'll be negative. So we've got negative 1 times 13. Then we've got this force, which is 11 metres away, which is pushing around in an anti-clockwise direction, so positive. So we've got plus 11 lots of 10. And then finally... We've got this force, which is 18 metres away, and that's going round in a clockwise direction, so we negative. So take away 18 lots of 8. So we've got minus 13 plus 11 lots of 10, take away 18 lots of 8, and that gets us minus 47 newton metres. So the idea here is that if A was the fixed point, this would be the end result of those three forces being applied. We would have 184 newton metres. Okay, so the overall force would be pushing it round uh, anti-clockwise because it's positive. Whereas if we're fixed at B, then those three forces will apply minus 47 newton metres total, and so we'd be travelling clockwise round, but not by not so much. Okay. And that's really due to those forces being a little bit closer to B, as opposed to how far they are, or what they are away from A. Okay, so that's how we can deal with um, a rod and finding the moment about a couple of points there.